So, Libertali is for sale. It's all a bit sad, really, selling a boat. Yeah, it's sad for us, but it's going to make somebody's day. True. Anyway, we went for a sale the other day um, with the idea that we didn't want to make a cheesy walkthrough video. We just wanted to sort of show the boat as we use it every day. Yeah, there wasn't much work, but we did manage to get the sails up. And she's a great boat, and you should buy it. Our day doesn't start until we've had our coffee. So of course, we made sure Libertalia was compatible with Nespresso. I love hanging out at the bow seats. They're a really cool space for me and to watch the world go by. To finish waking up, I'll have a shower in this monstrosity of a shower. It's massive by boat standards. The water, of course, gets pumped away by an automatic bilge pump. It's fully enclosed, so nothing outside the shower is getting wet. The view, not bad. And of course there's heaps of space just generally in the bathroom. There's storage behind the mirror cabinets for all your toothbrushes and aftershaves and whatever girls put in there. And an electric head that we put in to give this space more luxury. With the bathroom being forward, the owner's wing has all the space in the middle. We've got it set up with a library, there's heaps of storage, not that we need it, and the office. Nice boat. Going further aft, we move into the owner's stateroom, which has a large sort of dressing room, I suppose. There's lots of cupboard space, hanging wardrobes, and then the bed. There's heaps of light and airflow with a big hatch above, port lights behind, and outboard. Don't forget your hat! <laughs> I got a spare one of those. In fact, I should mention, being an offshore cruising boat, we do carry plenty of spears. Upstairs we have the saloon area, which is a really cool place to hang out with friends and family. There's plenty of storage under the seats, we have fridge and freezer, the nav station, and my galley. We can do route planning from anywhere, but we tend to use the saloon table. We've got wireless access to all the boat data, so we can use a tablet, phone, a laptop, or of course our shiny new ship's plotter. Of all its whiz -bang features, I quite like this auto routing feature. Tell it where you want to go, and it just routes you the quickest way to get there. Alright, let's get out of here. Turning the instruments on is really easy. You just flick all the switches, turn the engines on, and we're all good to go. Let's get that anchor up. The anchor is a Rockner 25 that we bought about a year ago. And we also carry a Spear Delta, and of course all the associated chain and rope. The main is kept nice and tidy in the stack pack and it's easy to get out again. Hi! Sorry, you have to bring your own boat boy. I'm keeping mine. The halyards and reefing lines are at the masts, all other sheets and lines are at the cockpit, including the one for the roller furler.
U-shaped jelly. I feel comfortable and secure working in it. It doesn't matter whether we're at sea or at anchor or whatever the sea state is, it just works. I have heaps of storage space. Everything I could possibly need is within arm's reach and there's an extendable bar so if people are socialising inside or outside, I still feel completely engaged. Yum! Fresh mahi mahi caught in a It would be fair to say that in the almost two years that we've been full-time cruising, we haven't lost any weight. Thank you, dear. Okay, let's have a look downstairs on the port side, and then we can get back to sailing. So port aft is a guest cabin with heaps of storage space, again, cupboards, full hanging wardrobe style storage for wardrobe hanging things. The bed with port lights for light and ventilation, big hatch above, shelf space and more storage. Let's have a look behind this cupboard because it's just another example of how the builders have paid a lot of attention to ease of maintenance. Everything's well routed, well labelled, easy to get to. Moving forward on the port side is another guest cabin. Again, lots of storage for clothes and more under the beds. And then in the forepeak, another adult sized berth. The guests have their own spacious bathroom with a fully enclosed shower, a wash basin, a mirror cabinet that we're not going to show you, but you can put stuff in there. There's a manual head and storage for towels by the looks. <laughs> okay, let's go back outside. Say goodbye to the city. I think it's time to get away I just can't shake this feeling I guess I just don't want to stay At the end of the day, the Genoa is filled away again, tidily and easily, back onto the forestay. The main comes back down into the stack pack and everything gets squared away. The last job of the day. Of 
spacious comfort and watch the sun go down. Wherever you're watching this, there's either a link somewhere or you're already looking at photos. If you made it all the way through to the end of the video without skipping through to the end just to see our pretty faces at the end, then thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Au revoir! You lost your money. <laughs> Yeah, I tell you.